everyone, this is Brandy J, Lux Curves TV. So excited. If you don't know where we at, you need to know. This is Audacity Studio, men's, oh my God. Men's haberdashery and grooming salon. Haberdashery and grooming salon. Yes. I was practicing like all in my head and I knew when I was gonna say this is gonna mess it up. And I'm with the amazing owner. I love your bow tie, Mark. Thank you. Thank this you. is Mark. So thank you so much for allowing us to film here. I'm so excited. So what made you decide to open up a studio like this for men? Well, it was, it's, it's kind of evolved. And thank okay. you guys for coming today. Um, initially, it was just supposed to be a grooming salon for men. Okay. And through some suggestions of some people in my life that have a lot of influence, uh, I was encouraged to do both. Mm. And so it's kind of evolved. And uh, it's unprecedented, really. You have haberdasheries that are around, you know, on the East Coast, some that are popping up in Northern California. But we never had one here, especially in our community. We'll yeah. have a high-end, made-to-measure, high-end off-the-rack place where men can go and shop and then uh, get groomed at the same time. So it's the full service. They can full come service, here, get to groomed, get clothing, and walk out GQ style. Yeah. Got it. So in your studio, what lines do you carry? Like what fashion designers do you carry? Or is it your line? No, I, I carry um, lines that are on uh, par with some of the major labels. Okay. Uh, it's really the fabrics that we emphasize, whether it be our, you know, what's called a, a Super 150, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, in our actual fabrics where we make clothes, we carry uh, Dorme, mm. um, Laura Piana, uh, Holland and Sherry. Uh, and those that are familiar with bespoke tailoring yeah. and things of that nature, they, they know that those All are top of the line. All high-end, luxury, high end. top yeah. of the line brands. Cashmere and wool. For men. Right. And then we have, of course, the, the, the casual line. Okay. Uh, carrying a, um, a line called Cake for Monarchs. Oh. That's uh, new, that's out more for millennials, kind of day to night kind of yeah. wear. Yeah. Okay. When did you open up the studio? Actually, a year this month. Happy anniversary. Thank you. That's a blessing. It is. To be a business owner in this day and age, to be in business for a year and to cater to our community, That's which right. is amazing. Um, when you opened up, what was the response from the community when um, the studio opened? It was a very warm opening, kind of, of a surprise. Okay. Um, not used to having really high-end um, couture, if you will, kind of places in our community. We typically have to go northwest and why do you think that is? Like, why do you think that has gotten away from our community? That's a long story. Okay. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I mean, because it's historical. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, Central Avenue used to be a place where blacks shopped in Los Angeles. It, okay. was, it was major. Uh, and as time has progressed and manufacturing has moved away mm -hmm. with the better jobs and, yeah. you know, um, those type of shops have left. So now we're trying to bring Black Wall Street back uh, on the avenue on Slauson Avenue. Well, I'm all for it. Yeah. I think it's amazing. Me growing up, my father was GQ all the way yeah. from the East Coast. Okay. So gators, everything had to match from the handkerchief on down. Okay. So that's how I was raised. So I'm, I'm only used to men who know how to dress. Right. And if you don't know how to dress, it does, it does nothing for me. Okay. But I still feel like, to me, that's been missing in society. Men actually taking the time to look good, not just for who they're with, but for themselves. And I, like, do you feel like it's coming back? Like more men are like, okay, let me just take care of myself and dress better and be this classy man. Yeah. So you know, you had the song that was out here about three years, three four years ago, classic man. Right? Yeah, Jendaya. And, right. So it's it's coming back mm -hmm. but it has to be forged you know by places like this yeah they have to have access um, men want a certain aesthetic some of them don't know how to get there we teach them how to get there and we're trying to touch it generationally so the Millennials you know how they like to dress, yes. but we're trying to help them to get over that hump so that they don't feel ashamed of you know putting on nice gear so do you guys teach like if someone comes in like have you ever thought about like doing classes to help like to teach them how to properly groom to carry it outside of once they leave here absolutely and, okay. and uh, I have men coming in all the time for example most men don't know how to tie a bow tie hmm. that should be something that they should know how to do yeah and I learned how to do it as a child um, you know wearing a tuxedo most men don't have a tuxedo in their wardrobe you should have a tuxedo in your wardrobe while you go into these other places to rent a tuxedo that should be a part mm -hmm. of what you have so you can you know you can step the bare out. essentials of right. your wardrobe that's right that is great 
So we're going to be right back because I have more questions to ask you. So this is Brandon J. Let's Curse TV. Hey everyone, Brandy J, Let's Curse TV. We are back with the owner of Audacity Studio. Now, on a break, he was showing me some of the products and there's one product, I, it's for guys, but I think I need to take it home. Um, <laughs> but tell us about the products you have in the studio for men. So, when you talk about the grooming salon, yes. uh, as opposed to the haberdashery where we dress, mm -hmm. the grooming salon, um, the different kinds of products that we carry. Uh, I think most recently, a lot of a lot of men are into beards. Yeah. So we beard do. Beard game. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we we carry uh, Scotch Porter, and we do a Scotch Porter haircut and um, beard treatment. Right. Okay. Um, along with the services, um, there is a uh, a little machine that yes. you were just speaking of a second ago, and um, I'll put it on for you right here. It's a professional massager. Um, and they don't got these in the spa. <laughs> no. And uh, you were kind of feeling it in the second. Yes. Day, so. It's, so he's going to do it again. So, hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, amazing. Sean, tell you ladies, y'all need to come here and just get this done. This is amazing. And it's really a, a stress reliever. Yeah. You know, uh, in lieu of a, a man going to a, a regular spa like you guys and getting on the table. Yeah. Probably feel more comfortable getting that. <laughs> And being done with it, right? Wow. So how many barbers do you have um, in the grooming salon? I have three barbers right now. Okay. Um, in search for, you got to have the right people mm -hmm. uh, to do these types of services. To understand the brand and That's the right. service. Yeah. You know, you want to deliver a certain aesthetic. You don't want to, we want to be differentiated. Okay. We really don't have, consider any other place competition. Mm -hmm. We complement what they do. Okay. So we have our lane, everybody else has their lane. And what's next for you? Like, What do you want to do next for your brand and for the studio? What's going to happen next, it'll be a shine stand out front. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, good. Yeah. So it, it will truly be, you know, uh, head to toe in addition to our concierge service. So say, for example, if man comes in, we do an intake, we find out about his significant other. When mm. your birthday anniversary come up comes up, we have... Uh, people that we can call to make make it happen. Because you tend to forget. We do. Those important. Yeah. Flowers, <laughs> concert, you know, all that. You guys stuff. forget the important dates, but that is good. So they is one, are really a one stop shop and helping save relationships. One stop <laughs> one stop shop twenty first habitat twenty first century haberdashery and grooming salon. Wow, so uh, where can they find you on social media? Well, we are at www.audacity.la mm -hmm. and then on uh, Instagram, we're audacity underscore studio. Okay. Um, and then the others we haven't really concentrated on right now. So you don't know Facebook? Oh, we do have Facebook. Okay. I'm sorry, Audacity Studio <laughs> on Facebook. You can find us there also. No Snapchat? No Snapchat. <laughs> no. Twitter? Uh, we do have Twitter, but we don't tweet that much. <laughs> You know you can connect everything. I, I'm aware. Okay. <laughs> we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> <laughs> so just, you know, make sure you connect everything to get everything out. But I'm really amazed with everything you have going on. And I think it'll be great just to do great things with you with Deluxe Man. Because this is Deluxe Man. And so you guys are going to be seeing us doing more projects together, more collaborations. And I'm just really excited. And thank you so much. And I am too. If you are in the Los Angeles area, if you're even not in the Los Angeles area, San Diego, Orange County, this is where you need to be. All men need to come here, get service, full stop, shop, and then the concierge service. So when's that going to roll out? That'll roll out first of the year. Okay. Wow. So you guys can just come here and get everything done. This is really amazing. I want to thank you again. Thank you. And I look forward to doing more great things with you. I do the same. Brandy J, Let's Curse TV. Bye. Bye.